Alabama defense as a whole will benefit the most because there's okay. nothing worse than a three and right. out, and you've only ran 27 <laughs> seconds off the clock, right. and we all looking at that clock like, man, we ain't been over here for a second. I saw where you were right going. Hey, that is the worst feeling as a defender, boy. And ain't never, ain't no time ran off that clock, and you got to go right back out there. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. Stephen M. Smith. I take a position group of. I think the entire wide receiver room will benefit off this because hmm. Reese's play calling gets receivers open. If you watch Notre Dame tape, these guys were open second and fast. And if I have to pull one receiver out the whole group, Isaiah Bond. That guy is going to go off. I mean, when, when you watch him play, he can stretch the field, tremendous speed, can leap up like a pogo stick and go get it. Uh, Tommy Arese is going to des- design stuff to get 17 bond open and open quite a bit. I'm not saying that Kobe Prentice won't be open. He will be. But just watching Isaiah Bond play and how quickly he works within the routes, that guy's going to have a nice year. He's got a very nice year. Mm-hmm. Well, Christian, you've had a chance to hear all their thoughts. Does any of what they said affect your choice, or do you kind of fall along the same line as they are thinking? Well, I like Marvin's unique uh, answer, I'll be honest with you, because that's that's a very good point. You know, yeah. when you have an offense that can chew the clock and really can control the tempo of the game, it allows the defense to have more time to rest. You know, that, that new style of up-tempo offense and whatnot, and you're going three and out. It, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. We saw that in, in the Clemson game after Bo got hurt in that national championship game. That second half, we had three and out after three and out after three and out, and the defensive plays started racking up, and you mm-hmm. saw what happened. Our defense was gassed at the end of the game. So I, I agree with Marv. I agree with everybody, but I think the running backs are going to benefit tremendously because mainly, with, you know, the inability to run the ball effectively this past year, he's going to come in here uh, with bigger guys up front. And not only that, he's going to find inno- 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 innovative ways to run the football. You know, he's going to do it in different fashions, right? Make things look different. It doesn't all look the same. That way, you know, the running game will be a lot more effective with that as well. So I think the running backs uh, are definitely going to, uh, you know, uh, benefit tremendously. 